this is Rashida Dukes again for another BMO about chocolates. Last time we did the chocolate tempering using these KitchenAid electric machines. Uh, the, the chocolate right now is at 91 degrees for a few hours. Uh, we can see we are using this thermometer. And today I'm going to show you which kind of mold I'm using. Normally I'm using this silicone mold. It's quite thin and this one and it's a little bit thicker. And this one, I use it for my chocolate stick, the uh, batonis de chocolat, for the les petits pains de chocolat, for the croissant with chocolates. So I use that for, I use this mold for that one. Then I use the chocolate uh, mold, the cheap plastic. It's very cheap, but it's very useful. It's like a dollar fifty cents or two dollars. And they don't last for a long time, but they're kind of good for a few, uh, few, for a few uh, projects. Then we have this one, uh, the chocolatier or the professional pastry chef they use. It's called the polycarbonate uh, chocolate mold. It's very big and it lasts forever. They come in clear or in white. I'm going to show you how to use all of this. Since the chocolate work is kind of messy, I used these plastic sheets. I have two of them. I cover my table. So we're just using a spatula to grab enough chocolates to put it in the mold. I'm using the Halloween uh, molds. Uh, I like these molds because it, they come uh, in different uh, patterns. Uh, Christmas, Easter, Halloween, uh, spring. So I just put in enough chocolate. I'm not going to cover the whole thing, just to show you how it's working. I'm trying to remove all the air trapped, and I'm going to remove with the spatula the excess of chocolate and put it back in the bowl as long as. As long as the, the chocolate is not too cold. If the chocolate is too cold, don't put it back in the bowl. Just put it away and use it for something else. So now we're done. We're going to leave this mold um, on the table for five to 10 minutes at room temperature, unless if uh, the room temperature is above 80, 85 degrees that you have to put it. Uh, you have no choice, you're going to put it in the fridge. So right now we're going to leave it on the table for a few minutes. And then we're going to grab the other one. This one is a little bit thicker. Make sure when you buy this mold, buy the one which is shiny, thick. Uh, some of them, they are not that great. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video to check them out. So the same thing, we're going to do the same thing to make sure there is no air trap in the middle. And also we want to make sure that the mold, they are clean and dry, absolutely clean and dry. So you can get that nice clean uh, shine on the, on the chocolate. And then we leave it out for a few minutes also. Just the same thing. You just put your chocolate on the mold. Make sure it's clean and dry. It's very important. The chocolate is at 91 degrees. It's very important. And that's it. Um, the same thing again. Make sure you remove the air. Leave them at the room temperature for a few minutes. I'm going to use this mold. It's, this mold is basic, it's silicone, it's basically for ice. But the, the dimension of this mold is still perfect for uh, chocolate croissant. So instead of buying them, here in the States it's actually extremely difficult to find them. And when you find them, it's very expensive. I'm talking about the chocolate. 
The chocolate's about to me. Kind of messy, you just have to be patient, clean up all the time. Luckily, I have these plastic sheets on my table. All I have to do is just grab it and wash it. I have to wash my hand first before I keep going. Now I'm going to use the polycarbonate mold, which is a solid plastic mold. It's normally between $20 and $30. I will uh, include the link where to get this mold from if you're interested. They, they, uh, they last forever, those molds. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to keep tapping to remove the air. All this easy to, to remove the chocolates, the excess chocolates, because the plastic is hard. It's not like the silicone mold. They're too flexible for this kind of work. But the silicone mold is easier. It's easier to remove the chocolates from the silicone mold than the plastic mold. So we're going to leave it uh, to sit outside for a few minutes before putting it in the refrigerator. Now we're going to use the other one. This is our last mold for today. So we're ready to... After a few minutes, we get the mold from the refrigerator. You don't want to leave them in the refrigerator for a few hours. That's not good for them because of the, mo uh, the moist in the fridge. And the way you know that they're really done, they're ready to be removed and mold. Normally you're going to see the chocolate is pulling itself away from the mold. So all we have to do is tap and then without struggling with them, they come out easy. Since our chocolate is nicely tempered, the mold they were clean and dry, you're going to see a beautiful shine. And I'm going to put them in a in a box. And if the temperature, the room temperature is too high, then I'm going to uh, keep them in the refrigerator in uh, a container uh, with a secure lid. So the moist will not get into them. And we're going to see the other one. This is using the silicone mold. The silicone mold, they are very helpful because all you have to do is just push the chocolate and come out nicely. So they are they're very thin. This chocolate you can use on the top of a cake or a cupcake and you can see they're shiny, clean, nicely done. Sometimes the, uh, the mold is so thin they break like this flower here. And we have the Halloween also, same thing. We have to be gentle a little bit because they're very thin, those are very thin. And I like them, oh, I broke the cats. The pumpkin, okay. And with this one, which is quite thick, uh, it's the same thing. They're not very fragile. So you have a beautiful shoe. Just put it with your finger and you're done. So I'm going to put them in the fridge, I mean in the container, make sure they are uh, low temperature, dry and low temperature. Since my room is a little bit around 75 and 80, that's kind of a little bit hot for chocolate, so I'm just going to put them in the refrigerator in, in a tight lid uh, container. This chocolate is kind of a little bit thick, but you have to be careful. Since it's silicone, you just push down with your finger. 
and you get a nice beautiful chocolate stick the uh, batoni au chocolat for the croissant or for an espresso cafe I like these more because they're they're not for chocolate it's for ice but I love it because they give me beautiful chocolate mold I can use for my croissant. I use this mold also which is just clear plastic I cut them in individual um, containers and now I can see that the chocolate is pulling away from the mold so it's time to, to get the, the mold out and that's it I didn't have to struggle with it so this little container you can put chocolate mousse inside of it fruits now this chocolate is ready to get out from the mold you can see the chocolate is mold, uh, getting away from the mold I'm holding it actually because it's ready to get out and you have a beautiful cup it's like a tea cup a coffee cup and you can uh, fill it up with chocolate mousse fruits here you have it all different molds different way how to handle them different shapes it depends what you want to do with it I hope you like this tutorial about chocolate